Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Silent Hunter 5. Where we last left off, we were taking care of some escorts, or we took care of some escorts, of three relatively large freighters, and now... Uh, okay. And now, we don't have engine noise. That's fine. Now the deck done. We are going to go after the freighters themselves. So we've got Max on the guns. And, uh, well, that's a bit, bit off there, Max, but never mind. I have faith in your abilities to get this ship. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, we're going to be hitting these guys with the deck gun mostly. Uh, let me just, just hit escape again and resume, and that did not do anything with the engine noise. So that's a bit, bit of a letdown. We have a task force inside. Mary Where? One Maybe if we just do something like this. Oh, stop. Half speed ahead. There we go. That got the engines going again. Anyway, a um, couple of things I'd like to go over. Apologies, first off, for the lack of the wolf pack today. Um, there won't be one next week either. Uh, work has gotten incredibly busy Ship's for myself. And uh, Three, as five, some of you may have noticed, there weren't any videos this week. It's because I've been getting home a bit later and more mentally drained. So, uh, for your entertainment, because let's face it, my commentary, well, it might not be the best there is out there on a good day. It certainly hasn't been anywhere near the standards that I would like to give, so that is why there's been no videos, mainly because it just would have been me quietly doing things, and that's not fun. Ooh. So, um, yeah, hopefully, as my cat walks fast, thank you, sir. Um, yeah, I'm planning on uh, getting as many videos as I can done this weekend, and it is a long weekend in Canada, so all of Monday I have off and will hopefully be providing entertainment for everybody who enjoys watching what I do. Uh, next order of business is a fun little game that I've Ship's discovered this week bearing, three, five, called two. Heroes and Generals. The Oxcast did a video on it, and uh, some of the commenters actually suggested I take a look at the game, and uh, it was around the same time, so getting into the servers is a little bit, a little bit difficult. Um, the, the popularity that this game has taken off with is, is more than the servers can handle, so it's a little bit difficult to get into a game. But once you do, my god, is it ever fun. And it's free to play. So I've, I'm, I don't know if I am proud or not to admit it, but I've certainly spent some money on the game. Uh, I didn't like driving around in a Panzer 1, Task so I bought myself three, some five, gold two. and bought all the tanks I could. So, you know, ooh. <clears throat> A little bit of a hop, skip, and a jump there from that freighter. Anyway, moving on to the next target. Um, and let's just slow it down. Slow we don't need to be going ahead. 20 knots while we're taking on these freighters. Um, so yeah, it's just if you're playing Heroes and Generals, or if it seems like something that might interest you, it's a lot, it reminds me a lot of Battlefield 1942, just free to play and there's like a, a strategic layer that involves fighting the war and it's not something I've taken a look at but presumably the first person fighting game is influenced by this in browser strategy game I just think it's good fun so I'd recommend it check it out um, if you're a pilot, it's not a very good flight model. I gave the flying a bit of a try, and it's floaty as all get out, so I would suggest staying with War Thunder if that's what you're into. But there's infantry, there's tanks, there's tank destroyers, there's um, planes. It's, it's just good fun. Highly recommended. Anyway, that's enough jibber-jabbering about a different game completely. Let's get back to the, uh, the mission at hand, and... My word, did we ever do a number on that freighter. Good shooting, Max. You're gonna deserve all the promotion points.
And sadly, this is not the first attempt at recording today. Uh, this is my second go around. The game crashed on me, which is always a letdown. I have a feeling it's because uh, with the North Atlantic and just the nature of the way things go out here, I'm using uh, time compression a lot more, and that might be causing some instability issues. Uh, when you're floating around the English Channel or the Baltic Sea or whatever, you don't really need the time acceleration. When you're way out here, yeah, you definitely need the good old-fashioned time acceleration. And, um, yeah, so that could be doing it. I don't know. I'm going to be a bit more uh, aggressive <laughs> with the way that I save my game so I don't continually have to reshoot everything, which is uh, time-consuming, to say the least. Anyway, we're doing quite a number on this second freighter, but it just doesn't want to die, which is annoying. Ooh, my, and they have machine guns. Bag flow. So let's just slow ourselves out of that. And, um, as some of you might be questioning, as these hails of bullets come in, um, you know, how our submarine isn't really taking damage. I don't know. I don't know why that is. Um, in the previous attempt at me recording, I uh, checked out the default or the difficulty settings. I'm going to do the same when I get back to port this go around. But um, needless to say, I'll stop. Let's get that back up. Everything, as far as the game is concerned, is how we would want it. So, still 69% difficulty, you know, nothing changed there. So, I'm not sure why we're not taking damage. I'm a little annoyed by it, but I'm going to take full advantage of it. And, um, heck, maybe I could ram one of these freighters. You never know. Well, that does seem a little ridiculous. We certainly have drifted around here, haven't we? Um, how fast are those guys going? Seven knots? So, we could probably do... To go a little bit forward and uh, sort of keep pace. I think this is the only freighter that is armed, and then this guy has the searchlights, but uh, isn't armed. So once we get this guy taken care of, we'll be able to freely uh, move on the other freighter. The nice thing is, these things are massive, and so they're going to be adding to our total quite nicely. <clears throat> and in fact, if we could get four or five of these instead of just three, I have a feeling we would be able to end the mission quite quickly. But of course, hunting ships on the Atlantic, never easy. Never an easy thing to do. They're difficult things to find. So come on. And for, I mean, I've, I've still got three torpedoes left, I believe. Uh, yeah, three in the front. And, well, we might as well drag that guy in Well, we're on the surface. Uh, so, you know, if we run out of deck gun ammo or, you know, with the next sub we decide to just sink under and get him with, with the good old-fashioned torpedo, you know, I'm okay with that. Uh, our battery levels aren't all that great. We used up quite a lot of them fighting those destroyers in the previous video so we won't be able to spend too much time underwater but we'll be able to spend a little bit hopefully enough oh my word thank you this game it's not cooperating with me today this does not bode well still okay oh they're on fire and how's this guy definitely going under perfect that's what i like to see our guns are eerily quiet. I don't like this. Max, what's uh, what's the good word? Ah, yes, that would be that would be a problem if um, <clears throat> if we didn't have any shells to shoot. We're not going to be able to um, get these ships sunk, which means there's only one thing we can do. And that is dive on them. Now, the unfortunate thing is they're still going seven knots. So, uh, we got a couple of options. We could go under now, or we could just kind of tail these guys. 
and let our battery power build up for a bit. So let's just increase time acceleration here. Although it does take a while to recharge batteries, this is true. Let's go see if I can talk to my engineer and speed up the process. Oh, come on. Down, there we go. Aha. Hello, lads. Engineer. Hmm. All right, so we could overcharge, but that's not really what we're looking to do. Uh, we're looking to speed up charge, and that doesn't appear to be an option. So... I would like to get closer before we dive on these guys. And since I'm not taking, for whatever reason, damage from machine ahead. guns, I have a feeling we can just pull up nice and close, slip under, loose a couple of torpedoes, and call it a day. Head on back to France. And if I am correct in my thinking, and I am, the headquarters have moved to Lorient, which is good. We do not need to return to Wilhelmshaven to uh, repair our ship, which is good news for all involved. Because nobody wants to go that far back just to patch up holes in a ship. Two, five, ready. All right, so we are going to need to extend this out just so we keep on them. Our battery levels haven't recharged one bit, which is frustrating. Okay, well, we're getting close now. How's about we go under, lads? Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. All right. Now. Oh, come on. There we go. Pull up our targeting selection and I'm wishing I didn't draw my waypoint so far up that will be a bit better okay let's get under and now we're kind of just matching speed oh look at that she's gone under perfect you're our target now. Oh, damn. We missed it. Well, we can turn in. Can I please have control of the periscope? Oh, okay. We got to actually load a tube. And... We'll see if that hits. You know, it might, it might not. It's a fairly big ship. So we might get lucky with that shot. It was kind of an erratic one, but that's okay. We've had many erratic shots before in our career. One more isn't gonna be that bad of a thing. And in fact, I am going to say I'm ambitious and this is going to be a hit. Torpedo impact. And indeed it is. Not a severe hit. So we're going to have to do better with our next shot. Which will be lining up shortly, it would appear. Slow speed Let's cut our speed so we catch up with them. Okay, yeah, we're going to need... Okay, now I've got control of the periscope. That is a good thing to have control of. It tends to be pretty useful Minimum speed ahead. when operating a submarine. All right, and... Oh, oh. Wait for it. Come on. Come on. Smoke on the horizon. Bearing one five five. I hope that's whoa. I just want to move that around a bit. And come on. 
Got our engines. Oh, come on. And I know I don't have to line these up. I can do other ways, but this is the easiest and sure firest way to get a shot. That should be a hit. Um, but of course, that might not be a hit. Who knows? Smoke on the horizon. Bearing one. Whoa! Mm. No. no, that's not a hit. They dodged that. Those tricky bastards. These are electric torpedoes. They're supposed to be undodgeable. Of course, we both know Smoke that that is the not the truth or the case or whatever you want to say. Uh, we should drop that down. And... Recharging batteries. I believe if we just get ourselves into an intercept course here, I can use Uzo to launch a torpedo. Am I correct in that assumption? I am. Beautiful. And since we're in the process of just chasing this guy down, we're not going to go for a shot on three. We're going to go for a shot on two. Smoke on the horizon. I think Bearing that one, is five, probably four. the safest bet. Um, yeah, we'll have to come up. Oh, come on. Around like that. Torpedo missed, sir. Smoke on the horizon. Bearing okay, one, eight, we'll come six. down. Yeesh. We'll come down. Down across them like that should be a fairly nice shot. Uzo, help me out. Let's zoom in so we can get as accurate as we can. And firing tube four. Now that might be a miss. Smoke on the horizon. Or that might One, five, just six. be the hit we're looking for. Torpedo impact. I hope it's the hit we're looking for because the last thing I want to do is have to line up a shot with my rear-facing torpedo. That does not sound like fun. I'll stop. Let's check out if we did any damage there. And according to that, we did not, which is surprising. Considering how damaging torpedoes technically should be. Ah! Glorious. Okay, so that is all of them sunk. Let's take a look. And you can see we are very close to completing that mission. I'm pretty pleased with that. Let's course head. 13. Returning to course. Uh, let's do something New like that. Three. Yeah, we shouldn't be hitting anything there. And then in... Course three, five, nine. New waypoint. Course like that. Three, All right, five, guys. Eight. Well, with that ship going under... I think it is about time to leave this area. Although we could go check this out. She will be listing. She's got two torpedo holes in her. And of course all the high explosive shells that Max fired. So definitely slipping under, which is good. It's great news for the Defiance and for Germany. Fare thee well, massive liner. All right, guys. Oh, can I get an artsy shot here? Hold on. Oh, God. Now I'm all confused. Confused by the water. Okay, let's go up. Up. There it is. Yeah. All right, guys, I will be back with something more exciting. See you in a bit. All right. We have safely returned to Lorient, and unfortunately, we are unable to show it off 
because of the crappy weather. Such is life. Anyway, there is our new home on the coasts of France. Probably a very nice port, but, um, you know, it's difficult to see. We've got a medical ship there. That's good. And, uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit of the, a little bit of the Crags Marine here. Doing their thing. So, let's go ahead and end this patrol. I'll stop. All right. Oh, so uh, the actual sub pens are the same, but the view out the window does change based upon your location. I like that. It's a nice little touch. What's up, man? We do sure. we have anything to upgrade? Uh, our conning tower is already super, super good. We got the best there is. We got the only deck gun we can have. We've got the best flak guns. So that looks the same. Our hydrophone is doing great. We've got no radars or decoy launchers. And we've got no new camouflages, and we're not changing the captain's emblem. So, sure what are we going to do? We're going to get rid of our mind? electric torpedoes, and we are just going to equip the good old-fashioned steam ones. Why is that? Well, the electric torpedoes are fun, but um, having three different speeds is super-duper helpful. And I'm going to be honest, it really doesn't seem like the stealth aspect of the electric torpedo is all that there. So they still look like they're pretty easy to dodge, as was evident with the freighter who right. dodged one I'll of our shots. Loaded onto your boat. Thank you, if a freighter Welcome can dodge back, it. Heckler. Congratulations, Captain. You know, it's, it's crazy. Uh, so still the same old mission. We've got no new ones. That is good. Welcome Let's back. start the new patrol. Yeah. I quite like this quote compared to the other one that I saw uh, earlier recording. Uh, that said, you know, gave you a little tip about the decks awash depth level that you can set your uh, returning to the go to. Half speed ahead. All stop. We're approaching our final and waypoint. Yeah, decks awash is great. It's a shame. There's no button Maybe for it. I realize there is with mods and. Yeah, we'll see what I can do about that. Um, I noticed on Git... Come on. Thank you. On uh, Gamer's Gate, that the Silent Hunter series, the entire series, so three, four with the expansions, and five were on all three of them for 10 bucks. Whoa! Course 69. Pressure hull repaired. Minimum speed Capital ahead. ship sighted. Bearing Ugh. 9 3. Why did we come flying out of here at freaking 20 knots? Jeez. Okay. Well, 98% damage isn't that damaged. Um. Yeah. We should be okay with that. But, uh, obviously, you know. We're taking damage now, so that's a thing. That's a good Slow thing to know that we're able to do. Um, and I forgot to check the difficulty settings. Oh, well, uh, you can only check those in port, so I'll see if I remember the next time. But take my word for it, they haven't changed. So I'm just going to assume that the game was glitching out earlier with those damage issues. And um, after, you know, running afoul of the sub-pen wall... We'll uh, we'll make sure we're actually 11. taking damage now. So let's head back to the Atlantic, shall we? And on a clear day, we can enjoy the sights and sounds, perhaps, of Lorient Harbor here. We got a few transport ships. I hope we're making a turn here, Dieter. Let's uh, just speed things up. I'm not sure why the BDU decided to put the sub pen so far back, but I'm sure there are many reasons that a sub commander wouldn't consider, like defensiveness or anything like that. All I know is this is a freaking annoying port to leave. But I'm glad we made it out relatively in one piece. We have 15 promotion Ship points to spend, Six, so eight. let's spend them. Uh, we'll get our engineer all... Whoa! I discarded that, and that was not what I wanted to do. Let's go back. 
and actually hit apply on that. That sounds like a great idea. We'll get some turning maneuverability in, which will be good. Uh, we'll get another line of torpedo waters, Captain. We'll get the final line in our gunner. And what else are we gonna do? I guess we could go sound guy. Benno could use a little bit of a little bit of work. Our radio guy could use some love. And who else? Um, I guess maybe our bosun or uh, we'll get our cook fully upgraded. There we go. So we are now sitting at a whopping Submarine blue sighted. bar efficiency. One of ours, our morale we is at a hundred of a hundred. And what the yes, hell sir. is going on? Oh, good God. Um, okay, well, at least I can still do that, but I am certainly stuck above my submarine. Well, running aground there did quite a lot of damage, actually. I really should have been paying attention instead of, um, ordering the crew around. Okay. A little awkward. Let's turn around and end this patrol, shall we? Returning to course. Okay, I appreciate the route All that stop. you were taking, but All stop. We're approaching our final wave. That's just going to run us aground again. So, let's back it up. We are in shallow waters, Captain. All let's stop. just all stop and we will end the patrol again. And just go all out stop. again like nothing happened. Oh, hello. Ah, but this does interesting. Okay, so I'm permanently tilted. Regardless, this does give me a chance to go into the options. Whoops, and check gameplay settings. So everything is still the same. 69% uh, realism, so we're still good. We'll make sure to apply these changes just in case. And we will go back. All right. Welcome back. Hector. Let's try this again. That's very true, Donuts. All right, well, at least we won't have any promotion points to spend Returning to this course. time. Escort sighted. Bearing one, zero. Half speed so, ahead. let's All get stop. those periscopes down, and we'll just go Would ahead. You like minimum to speed ahead. Course, Captain? Maybe a minimum search speed ahead. Ship sighted. Bearing eight, zero. New waypoint. Course three, five, two. Returning to course. Just keep New that speed course. at minimum, please. New waypoint. Course okay, 90. and then we can New come out. We'll cut, course, obviously, well waypoint. away from course, that sandbar. New waypoint. Course 60. New waypoint. Course uh, that can probably... 65. Jeez, Louise, are you kidding me? Okay. 1% hull integrity loss is fine. New waypoint. I'm not a fan of Lorient. I miss Willemshaven. That's a much easier port to leave. Um, wow, that is way out there. Uh, let's see. We'll go up about there. Okay. And let's just make sure there are no more promotion points. Can I see my efficiency now? 91 out of 100. That's a pretty efficient crew. Slow speed. We can probably kick it up to slow speed. It's one of us bearing four, six. And we you guys don't waters, need Captain. to see me leaving port again. And let's be honest, if I wind up crashing, I'd rather not have that on recorded video. So I will be back when we hit the North Sea. See you in a bit. All right. And after a few days of searching around the North Atlantic, yeah, we have boy, stumbled boy. upon. Thank you, Dieter. Oh, where did he go? Where did he go? There he is. Uh, we have stumbled upon a nice little freighter. There's only one. 
that's a bit of a letdown. And as you can see, it's not looking to be all that big. Let's hop on over and take a look at our prey, shall we? And yeah, it's not a big ship. It's a little freighter that uh, we will probably have no problem whatsoever sending to the bottom with our 88 millimeter deck gun. So that's good. But it's a shame that it's such a small freighter. I would have liked to have come across a convoy, of course. But, uh, you know, that's just not in the cards today. Well, at least not right now. Right now, this is what we get. So never look a gift horse in the mouth. That's what I say. Might as well sink it. I mean, after all, it is going to count for something. So you might as well... You might as well take advantage. That's, that's how I feel anyway. Let's speed time up. Oh, and just like that, it's headed to the bottom. So let's take a look. Didn't really improve things that much. Let's get rid of all the scribbling that I've done here. Thank you. And that. We can get rid of that. Uh, come on. There we go. All right. Well... With this guy set to sink, actually, I should. Um, let's see. We'll get ourselves up closer to that red line. Away you go, Defiant. Or Defiance. We're going to watch this guy go under. He's got the, uh, the sinking jello shake going on. Missed an explosion there, but no doubt it was traumatic for all involved on board it's night so there's not going to be too many artsy shots to take under the water things are so dark in the north atlantic you can't even really see it once it slips beneath anyway so it's just gonna shake itself in a sort of a jello like way under the water slowly but surely it's just gonna jiggle 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 and if we watch it in, you know, regular speed, it's not a very exciting thing to watch sink. Just, um, just slowly jiggling down. Ah, there we go. Slipping under. Air. Bubbling up. And away she goes. Alright guys, I will be back with something more exciting. All right, so after roughly, I don't know, I'm going to say a month at sea, burning through half of a tank of fuel, no torpedoes, thankfully, we have finally come across what it is that we're looking for, a convoy. We so, have a task force inside, bearing three, one, zero. It's a pretty big one, too. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six ships abreast by who knows how many deep, at least four, I would imagine. And um, destroyer escorts, pop it up. We've got three of them. Hmm. Looks like an identifying friendly ship in there, so probably an American. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right. So we've got our escort out there. We've got another escort right there. And then one somewhere right there. So what we're going to want to do is keep ourselves, I guess, what we should do is bring down the periscope. We can, we can do this just on hydrophone alone. All right. Let's bring the periscope up. And we are pretty much right in the thick of it. Tracking this is perfect. The only better thing would be if it was night. But that's okay. I'll take Target. some Target. daytime shots here. Let's just see. Target marked. Yeah, I mean, that is... Fairly close. If we kind of cheat it down that way, we should be able to get a hit 
there. And let's check the ship behind him. What do we got? Mm, we've missed our shot on you. What if we drop it down to speed like that? Well then, we should be just fine for getting a shot on you as well. And this one I've got a bit more faith in it actually hitting. Let's remember to warm up those warheads. That seems like a good idea. And what do we got here? We've got another ship. <clears throat> Much too far. And not nearly far enough. So that's a little frustrating. What about you? <clears throat> You're a fairly large looking ship too, aren't you? Oh, come on. What about if we drop you down to speed? Through, or the speed middle? Oh, yes. Okay. So, I mean, really? That should be good. Let's warm up the old tubes. Or the old warheads. Oh, nope. Not spin it around. Please. Uh, let's see. We'd have to advance our speed just a little bit in the meantime. Well, he doesn't seem to be taking much of an interest. Of course, none of our torpedoes have actually hit anything yet. So that could explain that lack of interest. So we're just going to wait on this shot here, I imagine. And close. All right. Well, let's just quickly take a look around. And those destroyers certainly will be looking for me. But I don't want to be anywhere near here when they find me. So let's drop down and just see if our handiwork can't Torpedo be exciting. Impact. That's a second hit. We've got two more in the water, and I do believe one of those torpedoes is a miss. Zero meters. Current depth three zero meters. It looks Torpedo like though, missed, sir. we got Current depth three hits. Four, zero That's meters. definitely a hole in that ship. That's definitely a hole in that ship. And one final one. There's definitely not a hole in that ship. But it's on fire. So I'll take it. Those are all very good things to have happen. And if we can just pop this up, it certainly does sound like we've got a destroyer looking for me with the old depth charges. Joke's on you, sir. You're not hitting me. So let's just, let's take a look here. Three of these ships are damaged. Two of them are probably going to go down. But I would imagine this guy right here is going to keep motoring on. Which is not something we want to have happen. So, what can we do <clears throat> to prevent this from being worse than it already so is. Well, it's not that bad, actually. What we're gonna do is just new contact, merchant, moving fast, closing, bearing, three, position four, ourselves four, Two, one, ready. sort of in the middle of the pack here. Maybe down about there, and then we'll point. keep Course following them. 67. Uh, we've got one frontal tube loaded. I'd like to get a few more than one. Although we do have our rear-facing torpedo tube, which could be used as well. Just want to get ourselves into position here. New contact, warship, moving fast. And moving what we want to be especially three, cognizant zero, five, long range. of is any ships that might be above us if we were to come up to periscope depth. Which is indeed what we're going to do periscope now. Depth. We'll get the first tube loaded and ready, and if I can, I am going to get a shot on one of those destroyers. 
Because they might not be worth as much ship tonnage wise, but they're worth their weight in gold. In um, not gonna bother me. Let's see, that is definitely <clears throat> definitely a destroyer bearing down on me. If I could have my periscope, please. No. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why I would expect to be able to control my periscope. That would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? Um, we might be able to get actually a good shot here with a rear tube on one. So let's cut our engines. Although I guess there is the destroyer. That's the ship that I want to hit. Although really. You know, I shouldn't be picky about getting a shot off on a big old Canadian freighter there. And yes, that one is Canadian, I can tell, because of the little emblem on the flag. Alright, well it looks like this guy might be actually positioning, him, positioning himself perfectly for a two-shot here, thanks to the position of that freighter. It's just a matter of waiting for those things to line up, and then we can los and take a look at what we can hit with our now two front firing tubes. Which is always good. One is better than two. We'll get that shot off. And see what we can hit now. Is that looking like a shot? No. You're an American. I should probably not sink you. Oh, hello. So, ah, that would be why. Oh, you're getting close, aren't you? Aha! You think you can get away from old Guntram von Bobenberg, do you? Guntram says no. All right, so that torpedo more than certainly hit the destroyer. Which destroyer? The destroyer that was bearing down on me. Oh, the destroyer that is now on fire. It definitely hit that one. That is for sure. Um, can we maybe get a bit more speed out of you? And... This is an awkward shot on that freighter, but I'm going to take it because... It would be stupid to not take this shot. Torpedo impact. That should send that one freighter down that we had already hit. That's two torpedo holes in it. Not many ships can survive two torpedoes. We have a task force inside bearing oh, hello. Two, seven, six. Los! Hopefully that hits. Um, let's go ahead and drop down our periscope. And while we're at it, get a bit lower. That might actually be this destroyer looking New for me. Contact. Merchant moving fast, moving away. Bearing two nine six. Medium range. Torpedo impact. I'm not sure. Ah, that's where it hit. Okay, good. Well, that's a nice big hole in that Bearing destroyer. Two, zero meters. And that would be a very nice big hole in the middle of this freighter. So that's some more going. Let's take a look. See at perhaps this guy here. Big hole up front. We like seeing that. And then I think this was the guy that I hit a second time. Perhaps not. Still no signs of damage other than the fact that the decks are a little bit on fire. Always good. All right. Well, we've Current certainly four, zero meters. had some fun with this convoy. Let's go to the map view, speed some time up. Five, zero meters. Two, three, ready. And let's just check our battery levels. We're sitting at 97%. My, my, we can continue this hunt for as long as we need to. Let's so put it up to speed, speed two. And that should have us keeping pace nicely with the convoy. 
Now, let's investigate and see if we've got any sort of destroyer tails. I believe we do back there, although that could be a freighter on fire. One never knows for sure, but this above us is definitely... Actually, that's a freighter. So this is what I mean by you've got to be careful when you're inside the convoy. We don't particularly want to get any higher until that ship gets ahead of us. Although... Let's get tube one loaded. Although I can safely say that guy is hoofing it. Although we've got the battery power to spare. All right, what have we got? We've got that destroyer we've already hit. We don't need to worry about him. And actually, that is looking like an all right shot. We're a bit behind the two, but I don't think that is going to make that much of a difference. Oh, well, it might be hitting a friendly ship. What, it, what are you? You shouldn't have been in this convoy, is, is what you are. That was actually right on the engines. I would imagine, um, yeah, no propeller. That guy's days are over. It was really more of a, of a um, disabling shot than a kill shot because... I recognized the fact that they were identifying as friendly and flying a friendly flag. Now, you are not friendly, so we will be sure to get a shot in on you because it would be, it would be rude to not include every ship that I possibly can in this. Don't want any convoys thinking I'm playing favorites or anything. No, no, no. Hmm. So we'd have to increase speed. And we almost have a shot on one, actually. So let's no speed, speed up just a little bit. Try and cut this guy off. And... Uh, that's got to be close. Yep, that was as close as close could be. Let's check this damage out. Nice big hole. And we've got a rear tube up. Is there anybody behind us we can hit? Well, I'd certainly like to get a try in on a destroyer. Because those are always fun to shoot. Let's drop you down to nothing and see and at the moment I'm not really concerning myself with making sure these ships sink and I probably should be but uh, I just I have this feeling that time will take care of it and a lot of these ships I've put holes in won't necessarily be making it um you know to their final destination including that of course is this destroyer Torpedo impact. whose destination is probably Turn laying depth, depth charges on me meters. so in the interests of self-preservation we're, um, we're, you know, taking, taking shots at him before he can take shots at us. Okay, Current let's depth, actually three, run up zero meters. all the way to this guy, because this guy is one of the ones that have damaged, but is apparently still able to move. However, you can see she's already getting pretty front heavy, which is good. It means... This ship will definitely four, zero, be meters. going under. The others, well, like I say, all these ones that have two, basically two, stopped, ready. I'm fairly confident they're going to sink. That guy's going under. 
that guy's definitely going under. Um, let's see. This guy, yeah, he's probably going to go under, which is a shame. You know, it, he's a friendly, but that's what you get for riding along in the convoys. Just another target as far as I'm concerned. Nice big hole in that guy. We've got explosions going up like crazy. I would imagine Current I'm being depth, depth charged. Zero meters. But we're 50 meters under. I don't think anybody is going to be able to hit us. More ships. So really what we've just done here is succeeded in... Warship moving slow, moving away. Bearing 8-4. Short range. Hitting an awful lot of ships that probably Two, four, ready. won't make it much farther. Now we've got, unfortunately, two torpedoes left in the front and then the external reserves. I'm not one to leave things undone. Let's see with these last two torpedoes if we can't have a little bit of fun with the Royal Navy, shall we? I mean, fairly confident you're going to die. Three, one, zero. But let's see if we can't pick off some warships, too. Tracking new target. Um, we'll go with tube two. Full speed. Won't be able to get that shot. Because this freighter is very much in my way. Now... We'll see if that actually works. If it does, great, because that's another destroyer we're hitting, and I'm A-OK -okay with that. And then we've got... I'm hearing ships. It's probably that guy, nice and close. We do have one more torpedo tube, though. I really should be looking for a final target. That guy off in the distance there, all alone. I could catch him. Let's just see if this torpedo is going to be a successful hit. It might be a little bit ahead. Heck, I didn't adjust the depth. It might be a little bit under. Yeah, that's definitely a miss. It might continue on and hit something else, though. I'm really not that concerned about missing with a torpedo or two at this moment. Because we've just, we've, we've already hit so many ships. And, um, did those two actually collide? Or is that just because, yeah, that's just because your ass end is damaged that it looks like you collided with this freighter here. Which is also fairly damaged and is going to be sinking as well. Probably. Some of these are nice sized ships too. I'm pleased that we were able to hit Tracking some big target. ones. And let's just see. Oh, just missed. Just missed that shot. And possibly on two. That's going to be potentially a while. And of course... It's a destroyer, so he's going to be moving around. Like he just don't care. Well. Again, I would feel silly for not taking this shot, because, you know, I found it and it has presented itself to me. So, close. There we go. Well, that is... Um, our entire torpedo complement basically gone on this uh, on these convoys here on this freighter. Oh dear! Let's go deeper. Take a deeper. And I'm not sure where any of my torpedoes really wound up. Fairly off course. That's fine. Zero. New contact. Merchant moving slow. Moving away. Bearing. All right, well, let's take a look. We're starting to get some sinks. And in fact, 
we have completed, if I just stop the time acceleration, we've completed this mission. So, right on. All it takes is one or two really good convoys, and you guys can accomplish anything. Oh. Shouldn't miss a chance to check something like this out. Ah, oh, that was a destroyer, too. Haha, <laughs> suck it, Royal Navy. You're not going to be killing submarines this day, or any day, further. We've got another... Oh, no, this is a transport. Going under. Fare thee well. And other assorted ships that are in various states of falling apart, which is great. All right, guys, so I think this is going to be with this wonderful, glorious victory, where I leave the video off for today. In the next video, we are going to have to head back, resupply, and hopefully find ourselves a new mission to keep ourselves occupied with. Otherwise, we'll have to come up with some other crazy stuff to do. Uh, let's go ahead and save the game as... Victory. Wow. Victory. There we go. So, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.